Uh, Noah? <clears throat> yes, sir. Noah, roll the clip. Roll the clip? Uh -huh. From your stream yesterday. Oh, shoot. It's roll for the audio clip. I mean, it's not gonna... Can't just roll a video clip. But roll the clip where you said... First of all, I believe you said that I wouldn't remember to tell you about my car today. Oh, yeah. And second of all, I think you thought my car and it wouldn't be good. Um, I definitely didn't clip that, but yes. <laughs> well, I mean, it's, it's in the... It's in the VOD. We, we, we can find it. Yes. I will, I will find it. We, we will right, find um, it. <laughs> okay. My car... Uh, also, for future reference, uh, on Noah's stream the other night, I got very drunk. It was a, it was I, a bit I, of a trip. I was very drunk. Let's be, I was going to say, let's be 100% fair. You didn't get drunk on his stream. You were drunk and then came onto his stream. Yes, and then he got more drunk. Mm -hmm. I drank two bottles of wine last night. This is, good. this is a good time for old Jackson. Then I went to work today. Overall, pretty good. I thought my cat was throwing up, but she's good. Proud of you. Okay, um, my car. Your car. For those of you who don't know, my car is pretty nice. It's not like amazing. That's a 2018 though, so like I drive I drive a 2018 Kia Forte is what it is. It's uh, um, a billion times nicer than mine. I'm already jealous. It's a, a Kia Forte S, so it's like the also sport model. It's got like a sunroof, better than mine. but it's not like a it's not like a nice car. It's 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 a it's a nice car. And I keep it in good shape, but it's not like a high end car. It's like the second up. It's the second lowest Kia you can get on in terms of like the quality meter. So I have a souped up version of the second worst kia you can own and every time the temperature drops below 40 degrees it alerts you it's like hey it's cold outside nobody who owns a kia forte has it inside of a heated garage and would be surprised to find out that it's cold outside that's that's the anecdote I, I, also, it, just, like, it bothers me like, because like, it, i walked from I outside yeah I, I don't understand what the point of that is like what is exactly that? like it's just patronizing your car's yeah, like, Ooh, like it's 10 degrees out like yeah i know i'm aware i just got inside like, even if you even if it was in a heated garage i feel like you would still know it's cold as shit out yeah like the, the, the car has never once given me the cold alert and i've been like oh it's cold but yeah I'm, I'm usually pretty cognizant of the temperature i i i am capable of understanding you know heat yeah. and cold and the mornings have been pretty cold recently and so pretty much every morning without fail i get in my car and it's like oh it's cold out I'm like thanks buddy wouldn't have known on one hand, I want to be like, oh, I wish my car cared enough to tell me it was cold out. But at the same time, I, I distinctly don't. Yeah, no, it does. It, it, it makes a sound, too. It's like, also, bing. who I'm doesn't like, yeah. like check their weather before they leave the house? Uh, well, who doesn't feel the weather mean, when they leave the house? But my car is parked outside, so I do notice quite quickly. Oh, hey, also, the weather's bad. You, if it were if it were like a thing, you could you what you're what half a mile from work? Uh, five. Minute, yeah, I, I five minute walk from work. <laughs> so oh, what, what, quarter like mile, minute walk from quarter mile. Something like that. Yeah, sure. One <clears throat> of these. You know what? It's time, boys. We're going to the corner. The you guys corner. know the angry video game nerd? Uh, I do. I, do, I think. About him? You, you guys, you're friends with him? Like, you know him? Well. I do. Yeah. He and yeah. I hung out for a while. I mean, he does live in the same area as you. Does he? Yeah, he's from uh, Philly. Huh. I think he lives in Jersey, though. But Suddenly that makes so much more <clears throat> sense. But uh, when the angry video game nerd was first starting out, he was the angry Nint Nintendo nerd. Angry Nintendo nerd. Angry Nintendo nerd. That was you know, what he started out as. And he would review Nintendo games and he would say, um, you know, this, these Nintendo games are bad. And then mm -hmm. one day he was like, I want to do a game for the Sega Genesis, basically. And he was like, well, I can't be the Nintendo nerd if I want to get mad at E.T. for the Atari 2600. So he became the angry video game nerd. Um, so what I'm trying to say is that this is now, uh, today we're celebrating Jackson's Alcohol Corner. Ooh, I see. Because uh, today I've got Hard Kombucha. Hard kombucha. Hard kombucha like by Kyla. All right. Is, is there something you were looking to say there, Dan? I don't know. I always feel like kombucha, kombucha is such like a like rich white people thing. Oh, and no. like, that should be oh cheap. it's supposed to be healthy for you or whatever. You, you can just make it in your garage. It's honestly really good. It is healthy for you, too, but I greatly enjoy it. My roommate makes it in our kitchen. I honestly get really weirded out by homemade kombucha, even though I know it's distinctly going to be better for me than store-bought. No, you're yeah. right. I get weirded out by it, too. But yeah, uh, one of our professors does it, and it's... It's whack. It, it's the scoby. The scoby is what throws me off. What the fuck's a scoby? Sco um, scoby doby do. So it's when you it's when you throw a basketball from half court. Scoby. Scoby. You gotta, you gotta do scoby. Very, Dan, you're so close. I'm proud of you if you're trying for the sports metaphor. But unfortunately, as we say in hockey, it was a swing and a miss. So, listen, man. You got you got the point. That's what really matters. You got the touchdown, really. Oh man. So the scoby is that that um. I don't remember what it stands for, but it's something about um, microbes. It's they're the microbes that make it ferment and work. Mm. And it's kind of. Have you ever done like sourdough bread? No. Okay. Yes. So 
Dan, you know how when you make sourdough bread, you have your starter that you keep forever and you just feed it like a pet yeah. and it lives forever. Uh, yeah, the scoby because... is kind of like that, but it's it's that it's that little booger thing. Ah, uh, yeah, that little that little booger thing in every bottle of kombucha. That's the scoby. Safe to drink, but it's really weird to look at, and it makes you a little uncomfortable. Here. Also, uh, I've drank a good bit of kombucha in my day. Mm-hmm. Never once had a booger in it. Not gonna lie to you. A lot of times, um, the more processed ones, they do remove it from the individual bottles. I would hope so. But no matter why, my roommate like when we, he like filters it before we don't we don't drink the booger thing. Oh yeah, so the booger thing, it, it's not bad for you. It has a lot of it just looks good. It looks gross. active stuff, but yeah, no, I don't want to drink a booger. It's pretty. Pretty whack. Anyway, tell us about your hard kombucha. Uh, it's made by Kyla. It's out of Hood River, Oregon. Um, it's a good alternative to you know something like a like a beer because it's got a similar. It's got a four point five percent ABV, so it's still about as alcoholic as your average beer. Uh, although it's low in calorie, but like naturally low in calories, so it's not like a you know Michelob Ultra where they try desperately to make it so it's not fattening. Right, right. Um, so yeah, it's only got a hundred calories, like two grams of carbs. I mean, yeah. Two grams of carbs, 100 calories, and, you know, obviously no, like, vegan. It's vegan-friendly. It's gluten-free. Yeah, yeah. Because that's just kind of, that's just kind of a given. But, uh, yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's good. It's tasty. It's lightly, it's a little bit fizzy. It's effervescent. I do like that little tiny fizz that kombucha has. Yeah, the natural fermentation. Because you know, like, how beer sometimes feels like it has big bubbles, kind of like, almost like a soda? Yeah. You don't want that. Kombucha bubbles are so nice and fine. It's more it's more of a sensation than it is um, an actual bubble. You just like you know yeah, it's is, there because it it burns. It's nice. And this is a uh, ginger tangerine. Is what this Ooh, is. Ginger tangerine. They also tangerine. have a hibiscus lime that I saw. There might be more flavors, but those are the only two that were at the Whole Foods I was at. Um, yeah, I'm looking at some of the um, just some of the labels and uh, the flavor combos look actually pretty sick. What other flavors are there? Uh, I have a moment. Let me pull the other one back up. Uh, I, only have, see, I only had ginger tangerine and hibiscus lime. We have hibiscus. Actually, no. Never mind. I think. No, here it is. Oh, it's a cold brew coffee. Oh, okay. It's it's still alcoholic and it's still the whole deal, but it is a cold brew coffee alcoholic option. Cold brew? Yeah, I'd drink it. Why not? <laughs> I'd drink it real hard. I'd drink three already. I, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wouldn't drink it. Uh, you don't like. I actually. You don't like coffee, uh, Dan? I, is I that, don't. Oh. Well, allow me to introduce you to a coffee you might like. This is Noah hijacking the beer corner or the alcohol corner to introduce bottle Wait, beverage. Is it sponsored? <laughs> no, because <laughs> uh, it really sounds like it's sponsored right now. Is it because I I picked up my voice and excitement and I'm like, yeah, no, it seemed like you were you were being sponsored. It, like it didn't sound like you were being, sponsored. being sponsored. Can we get a sponsorship? Audible duck. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we're not getting sponsored by whatever Wait. stupid thing Noah's about to talk about, but we are I'm sponsored about to email by some local com. breweries and see if I can't get Jackson's Beer Corner sponsored. <laughs> Someday. Honestly, that would be fantastic. But Someday. here's here's the coffee I would like to recommend to you, Dan. It's called Stock S T O K. It's a cold brew coffee. It uh, let's see. It's sweet, but it has rather little sugar in it. Like me. Ingredients are coffee cane sugar, and some other natural flavorings. And it's processed in a facility with peanuts and stuff like that. So it's very good. And cold brew coffee is nice because where normal coffee is like coffee and it just kind of is very bitter and bitey, cold brew coffee is nice because it's more it's more just there and it's very mellow. The cold brew effect does make it a mellower coffee. There we go. That's the words I was looking for. So yeah, stuck. Very good. Jeff pointed me toward it. It's nice coffee. Nice. Yep. There's a uh, local cold brew company in Austin called Chameleon. They sell their products at like, um, they actually, they, they, you can find them in a lot of places. Most like grocery stores, I think they'll sell it. Chameleon cold brew, it's pretty good. They have like these little pods that you basically just like put in water and leave it there overnight. Put it in the fridge and it's uh, good to drink. Nice. And each pod, each pod makes like a gallon of coffee too. It's, it's a ton. That. That's a lot of coffee. Yeah, no, it's a lot of coffee. Jeez, dude. Well, what it really does is it makes like, like a, let's say like three cups of a super condensed, like very, very strong coffee that you're supposed to dilute with water. So it doesn't take up a whole bunch of space. It doesn't take like a gallon container in your fridge up all the time. But it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's neat. If you like cold brew and you like mm-hmm. doing it at home. Because doing it at home, you can save a lot of money. No, oh, yeah. For sure. But by conventional means, it can be kind of difficult to cold brew at home, it, especially if you want like a really good taste. Right. I know my issue was um, just finding a way to filter out the coffee grounds when I was all done with everything. That was my biggest problem. Mm. Uh, I had a did you great, try using a coffee filter. I, I did indeed. Um, mm. The issue was the coffee I had access to was too finely ground and it clogged the filter. 
So what I ended up doing was I found one of those metal coffee filters and I ran it through that. And then I um, took the filter from the metal filter and I ran it through the paper. Hmm. Okay, I'm, I'm with it. You know, whatever works, works, I guess. So, in recent video game news, uh, Resident Evil 2 remake. I've heard that it's very nice, and the the video I've seen of it looks really sick. It looks really, really cool, but it's one of those things where, like, I'm I'm personally not going to spend $60 on a remake. You know what? I, I see where you're coming from. Which? But I would mm-hmm. if it was a game that I wasn't able to play anymore and I really wanted to. That is true. Because Resident Evil 2 is an old game. Mm-hmm. You know, you can't just like pop it into your PS4. I was going to say, is I think it you a can PS2 get it game? On an online store. Um, earlier than that, I think. Like our original PlayStation, I want to say. I might be wrong, though. I have actually never... I, I played 2 a little bit, but at a friend's house, so I don't remember what system. And then I played 3, 4, and 5 pretty much all the way through, and then a good bit of 7. Resident Evil 2 was put out on... Or, in 98 so that would have been playstation yeah just just the playstation yeah and like in 98 that, that puts it i mean i was born in 97 so it was definitely a bit early for me yeah i um, feel like i'm gonna go out on a limb and say your parents probably didn't want you playing resident evil at the tender age of one no not very much no i don't think they wanted that probably not even at the tender age of whatever you happen to ever be ever yeah that's true i remember uh, our friends uh, the marine and his brother mm-hmm. uh I, I played that was like my first time i ever played resident evil was with them um that makes sense. I think like they had the fourth one, mm-hmm. and we we played the fifth because the fifth was like de- designed around co op. Yeah. So like the fifth is actually the one I have the best memories of because it's all like a co op game and it, it was like a couch co op kind of thing. So like it was me and the uh, older the non marine brother chilling on the couch, just played through the entire game in one night. So fond memories. Honestly, because of them, I have a lot of fond memories about a good number of video games. And I'm, I'm really grateful for that, if we're being for realistic. Real. Like, they're honestly, like, the only times I've ever really played Mortal Kombat was with them, too. Mm-hmm. Were you were you around much during the Mortal Kombat phase we, we had? I don't think that they had locked into a specific fighting game that was, like, um a fighting game of that style that they liked yet. Because I remember mm. playing a lot of Halo. Like oh, yeah, that was the big one. Halo. But I don't really they, remember playing... They even played, like, Halo 5. They were, like, diehard about it. I was <laughs> impressed. I'm, like, even I've never though, met another person who played Halo 5. Like, I know Marine despised it. Because he's like, this is Call of Duty now. This isn't Halo anymore. But Brother really liked it. Yeah. Because he was more of a Call of Duty guy anyway. Yeah, we definitely had some good memories with them. Uh, less so with you, more so with your brother. Oh, very much so. He was much more present in that friend group than I was. Yeah, I mean, but to be fair, you're, you're what, four years older, five years older than me? Something like that, yeah. So I, it's kind I of was like... old enough that I should have been friends with uh, the brother, but he was kind of immature enough that he didn't really... <laughs> yeah, he was friends with me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you're right. But it is fond memories. Mm-hmm. I think we talked about that a lot during the Thanksgiving episode. Yeah, so we'll move on from that, because y'all already heard this. And if you didn't, so, go back to uh, whatever episode the Thanksgiving episode was. I think it was like 13. Let me I should see know, here. because I just trawled through these 15, episode 15. I should know, because I just trawled through to find that clip of uh, you singing along to Fingers in His Ass. Mm-hmm. Quality also, content. Also, when that. you're hearing this episode, it'll be very close to my birthday. It will, won't it? My birthday will between be between this episode and the next one. So, oh heck yeah! Hit up the happy birthday button. There's not really a button for that, huh? Slam that happy birthday button. There will uh, be a button smash that called like button. Happy Birthday on the uh, post. Put so it on the uh, YouTube alert. and then have it linked no, to the no, subscribe there button. <laughs> uh, no, no, there will be a button on the website post, but yeah, there will not be a button website to listen to a podcast. Else. What's it gonna link to? Yeah, who who isn't using like an iTunes, which by the way, rate us and review us on iTunes, or like their own podcast app, or watching us on like YouTube? Like, who actually goes to the site? I see where you're coming from. However, Real ones probably there is going to be a button that will have a function on the website that will be labeled "Happy Birthday, Jackson," that you can hit to Does wish him a happy birthday. To? Does it we'll link to out. the Patreon where they like write into the? Uh, <laughs> right into the oh everything's already filled out all you gotta do is enter your info that would be funny that, that would, would be, be funny very funny that would be very funny but like, that is not what's send happening. me a birthday present in the form of a patreon subscription you jackson's be, amazon wish the, list will be available in the description <laughs> that'd be the yeah, but only to my amazon wish list which is just gonna be like a whole bunch of like anime body pillows what what do you mean why <laughs> i was about to say <laughs> what what about any of our traditions here would make you say why <laughs> yeah that is not at all a confusing thing coming from my mouth which is the unfortunate part I, you know it, it really is the unfortunate part isn't it you guys so, I, I try so hard what? 
I try so hard to get on board with these things, and then anime, uh, uh, fucking Jackson says some shit about anime body pillows, and I'm, I'm right back off the train, you guys. What station did you get off at? Probably Furry City. I feel like I feel oh, like that's where I got off. What's it like there? Uh, Wait, so you're we, staying in Furry City now? Is what I'm oh, hearing? Oh no, I'm just stuck there. It's it's not like I stayed in. It's so like you're, a, but you're living in Furry City. Uh, Dang, no, no, I got left at the right? station. That's not the same thing. I am waiting but for the, the next train. Where's the zip code for the station? Uh, shoot, give me two seconds. I'll come up with something funny. It'll be a lot longer than two seconds. So Dan's a furry. Oh yeah, this um, is old news. I'm just I'm making sure that we all know that you just said it. I mean, I that was where I got off. That was where I I stopped. I said this far and no further. <laughs> that's where no, you got shit. off. Huh? God damn. Nah, no, that's fair. Nope. Nope. Fair. Nope. I Ooh, nope. Boy. I deserve that. That's 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 respectable. Respectable. So good, getting back on a wholesome sir. topic. Um, this is episode twenty six. That means we've officially hit the halfway to fifty mark. Uh, in the last yeah. episode, that is. I was gonna say it means you hit the halfway to fifty two mark, which would be a full year. Well, no, well, we're gonna hit a year way before we hit the uh, fifty two uh, mark. Yeah. But we won't have a year worth of episodes. You know, we won't have a year's worth of episodes for a long time. Well, we better get on that then. Go support, go support us on Patreon. You can get more episodes. Well, episode three sixty five would be the point at which you can watch one a day for a year. What, is, um, what is, how many would then, it have to be for us to have how many hours are in a year well there's 24 in a day and there's 365 yeah, let me pull out my phone calculator I don't i'm do I just gonna look memory. it up no 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 let me do this it's 8760 so 8760 <laughs> podcast episodes before we have a year's worth of podcast probably a little episodes. more than that honestly because some of the earlier ones are a little short but mm, a yeah, lot of these other ones are a little long so i think it'll I be okay i can imagine why i don't know no, why right? why they always end up being so long god it, it's it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's to see how long we can be quiet for <laughs> that we that the reason it ends up being so long is because of long awkward silences like that so we talked about hard kombucha hard kombucha oh. um i do like hard but, nice what about other hard things that aren't alcohol i call alcoholic by nature i mean the obvious one is hard cider yeah which was kind of my first like the what that's what got me started down this path of alcoholism that i now follow really your parents yeah. hard cider no not my parents hard cider are you kidding me because I, re- uh, I do remember getting cider from your parents one year and my mom was like yeah your mom said that they like to have it a little bit damn. harder so you better look out so if it that, starts to get too fizzy then we'll just have you stop drinking it it did it was it any good i actually never got any of that i remember them making that and i was like furious that me at 18 could not have any I it was, was okay furious I was very upset. Um, no, I, although I actually found out that it's really fucking easy to make hard cider. Like you, it's like like it, the biggest, the most expensive thing in a thing if you want to make homemade hard cider is actually just buying a jug of cider. Like that's the that's the most expensive part. The rest of it is essentially just let it sit out for like a week or two, and it boom, now it's hard. Uh, I mean, you put stuff in it, but whatever. Um, yeah, no, hard cider is what got me got me down this this dark path. Uh, because I I had beer when I was. 18 because i was Damn. i was out of the country uh yeah no i was i was a well i won't say even know i was a good kid i was just a kid that didn't have people who had too many people whose parents knew my parents and so i didn't drink before i was 18 my first drink was out of the country and it was beer and i was like ew this is this is ass and my aunt goes well yeah it's gross it's beer don't drink it here try some of this and she gave me like um <laughs> this thing of hard cider and i'm like oh oh i understand now and she gave me a shot of Everclear. I, well, honestly, the next thing was like a uh, shit. What was it? Frozen, frozen margarita. I want to say from like a week later, it was frozen oh, margarita, and like then it was it. That was it. Like it just. I understood why people became alcoholics. I mean, I and margaritas I, are great. What was that? Margaritas are great. Margaritas are amazing. We tried to make some. Um, at my christmas party and they they turned out actually okay considering we didn't have like all the shit to make them that's good um yeah i've heard also uh how do you get okay controversial opinion how do you guys feel about mike's hard my card lemonade i don't like their regular flavor because it makes me a little sick to my stomach but i do greatly enjoy their um other flavors like their cherry amazing it tastes like those little you know those little they were like kool-aid things with a mm-hmm. plastic cap it tastes like those yep. and i love it honestly i i 100 percent agree because i know a lot i know a lot of people who hate mics and they're like oh it's i mean i hate regular mics because it makes me legitimately want to die yeah but that's that's you hating it because it makes you sick to your stomach not you hating it because you hate the taste or you like you somehow think it's a lesser drink i mean i think it's still fair yeah i i agree it is fair um yeah hard hard cider is like i don't drink beer very often hard cider is my go-to if i'm just casually drinking that or like a vodka cranberry because i which is actually what i'm drinking right now so 
Vodka cranberry. A little bit of vodka cran. I go on Let's such just... random alcohol, no alcohol kicks anymore. I Right now, the only drinks I've had recently, like within... Well, I guess I had one for the last podcast episode. But outside of that, the only alcohol I've had for like a month was the excess of bourbon and honey I've been drinking to try and get my voice back. How'd that work out for you? Well, How was that stream I mean, yesterday, bud? It was going real great until I talked in that god-awful, gravelly detective voice for four oh hours. So, Noah, if, if you guys aren't Wait, already following Noah on shout stream... shout out to High for giving me the best game true. on planet Earth, Aviary Attorney. But big not shout out to High for not warning me there were 700 characters for me to voice. And big not shout out to me for thinking, oh, my voice hurts, let's talk in a low voice, and then voicing the main detective to talk like this the entire time. No, no, that was much more gravelly than that. It you was, were straight up I, Batmaning it by the end. I know, I couldn't... You I couldn't don't quite even, get there? I don't even don't remember... Do it, don't do it, don't do it, don't oh, do it. I can't do it now, but I don't even remember what voice I was doing that for that. You you but, started out, oh like, kind of just as, a, like, a, a low, like, bassy, like... Oh, I'm very pompous, but also would have like this very yeah. That. And like then it this. became fucking and, Batman and then over as time. My voice died. It just turned into me rasping and growling every single voice, except for one. The oh, one of the main characters. Thank goodness that I voiced in a much higher toned voice. <sighs> but yeah, you know. Anyway, is that is that your impression of the voice, or was that just a sound someone made? Who made that sound? What sound? It's like oh, um, no. Am I crazy? No, no, that uh, happened. I don't, I don't know what noise you're talking. I, I about. literally have no idea what you're talking about. Are you about. guys joking with me right now? I, I legitimately I don't not. know. Is there a person in your house, Jackson? <laughs> I don't know. Oh. And besides I you, swear. presumably. Yeah, it was like it was like that. That might have been oh. me, just like going. Oh. Okay, because that happened, and but like moments later, you denied it happened. I mean, I so didn't I don't know. It wasn't something I registered saying. So. In my defense. Uh, do you know how to defend offense. yourself in court now? Now now that you've been a bird detective for a few days? I do. See, what you do is you, you go in with minimal evidence and you make wild <laughs> accusations. You get the lion put on tr or you get the lion put on death row when it was the cat the whole time, but you got the cat off scot free. <laughs> And then it doesn't and, sound like you know what you're doing. And then you become a Dan. I'm sorry. Actually, not a Dan. No, ev no evidence. Literally none. You had you had a dream and a prayer that second time, and it just happened to work out. Yeah. God, it was a very good stream. You should you did fucking go go watch the streams. This is a good time. You guys ever had like hard root beer before? I have. You. It's very Fuck nice. Beer. Wow. It's very good. Wow. Wow. Bad opinion. Yeah. Uh, dude, I, I actually uh, heavily I agree in this case. Like, I generally don't like root beer and cola related beverages. Uh, don't Bad like. Opinion. I, I don't question. like root beer. I don't like Dr. Pepper. I don't really like Pepsi and Coke. I'll I'll drink Coke more than anything else now. Um, more than the other ones rather. But I'm yeah, I'm not a zero to ten, not a fan. Interesting. I don't know why. I could. I literally have no clue why. But it's the thing. For as much soda as I drink, you'd think I'd be okay with it. But how much soda do you drink? Too much. I mean, I only had one energy drink, energy drink today. Energy drink. But like energy drinks kind of suck. Uh, I mean, yeah, they do, but they are more cost effective than buying more cases of soda or you could drink coffee which is borderline free i don't like coffee well just learn how to like it that that sounds i don't like Did you that like the, the first time you ever had an energy drink where you're like this is really good i like yes. this 100 percent. i didn't like the first monster i had but i absolutely loved the first monster rehab i had but to be fair the first rehab i had was two years into my monster thing so i just well, feel like energy drinks don't taste good and coffee tastes fine and coffee is gives you more energy than energy drinks do anyway uh depends on what kind of energy drinks you're drinking and how much coffee you're drinking honestly like a cup of coffee is like two energy drinks uh, if they're anything like not, a red bull i think it's the other way around bud yeah it's I mean, two look. cups of coffee is an energy drink really Yep. What are, in terms of just ca caffeine or because of other in, stuff? In terms of pure caffeine, uh, two cups of coffee equals one energy drink. Well, how much is one cup of coffee, though? I mean, in the area of 40 to 50 milligrams of caffeine. Well, no, Some, I mean, like, how much is a cup? Oh, like, no. How, how many, if you're getting, like, just like, a cup of black coffee, like, 75 cents. Like, is it, like, eight ounces? Like, 16 50. ounces. Right, I'm going to cup of coffee. Like, serving for serving, they're pretty similar. Let's see. I'm going to look this up. So, like, that if you drink range. a can of Monster, that's 160 milligrams of caffeine. That's the equivalent of two to three cups of coffee. 
coffee depending on how strong you get your coffee. I mean, that sounds about right. And like it heavily depends on the place. The caffeine statistics on- you'll find because I've, I researched this pretty heavily because my doctor was demonizing energy drinks and I knew she was wrong because that wasn't the reason I was getting really bad migraines. What was um, the reason? Not drinking enough water? No, no. I, I, Dan, I really love please. that there's something out there called a 10 hour energy shot. I know, right? Yeah, no, man, those, five, those hour, are, five, hour, five and 10 hour energies that you want to talk about things that taste like ass. Those Fuck taste those. awful those and they're disgusting. scary. They, they concern they me. Way work. more caffeine than anything else. Yeah, they work by a lot. That's but God, why those they work. Will kill you. Yeah. I mean, I hope no, so. see, maybe I should get one and try it tomorrow morning. I yep. was having these migraines because I wasn't sleeping enough and it wasn't like pain migraines. It was ocular migraines, but I didn't get pain, mm. but I did want to throw up and I couldn't see. Uh, so my Which doctor, is a problem. Yeah, I went I went to the doctor and they're like, oh, yeah, that's probably because, well, do you drink coffee? And I'm like, well, no, I don't drink coffee. And they're like, well, do you drink anything like that? And I'm like, I do have an energy drink every now and then this. The, the reason every I know it's not true. Then. No, because I had almost stopped at that point. I wasn't on my two a day kick that I had been on for the last two years. God, and she's I remember like, that. I remember that. That, time. Just that doesn't sound time. good. Oh, it's not good. No, it's not good for you. Like, but, you know, well, no, I, mean, I was like, cracked out all the time. And it's just what happened. And just, I was and she's sitting there saying, oh, it's the energy drinks then and i'm like no because i have one maybe a day maybe and she's like no it's definitely the energy drinks the energy drinks people don't always think it would but they'll get you every time and i'm just sitting here thinking no i know it's not because i've been drinking way more caffeine than this for the last two years and this has never happened until i started messing with my sleep schedule and i'm like i'm pretty have sure it's that. not she's doing like, that and she's like well i think you should still cut out caffeine and see what happens and i'm like ha huh, you're funny well, did you try cutting out caffeine i absolutely did not i fixed my sleep schedule and guess what with the exception of the days that i had to wake up outside my schedule everything was perfect can i can we talk about about the demonization of energy drinks specifically because i like i and i get that i'm like using like really like uh uh, like it makes it sound like a much bigger deal than it actually is. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. But like literally I have not been in a class my entire college career in which sooner or later a professor or student doesn't say, why do you drink those? You know, they're bad for you. Like yada, yada, yada. And like to the point where I was in a meeting with like a group of my professors, essentially like um, a review for like my senior thesis that I'm working on. Mm-hmm. And like this panel of like did, four professors. Did they host an intervention? They, dude, these, uh, the panel of four professors, I set my drink down on the desk to like, stand up and put my jacket on because i was done and i and one of them reaches over and like slides at like four feet away from me and i'm like are you there's no are you kidding me right now don't be that guy there's no don't reason be that that guy. you have a problem not that they are the problem i do uh, i get that they are just concerned but at the same time if they were my doctor or my therapist i would put more stock in their like concerns they are neither my doctor nor my therapist therefore hashtag not their problem Mm-hmm. See, my issue with um, the demonization of energy drinks, I have a different problem with it. And it's the fact that like wine moms and coffee moms will talk all day and they'll have mm-hmm. all those little signs that say coffee in the morning, wine at night, insert wine here, that kind of stuff. Being a wine drunk alcoholic is fine for that. But then as soon as you turn the table and you're like, yeah, I have an energy drink every day suddenly you're the problem because you're not drinking good black coffee like a real american and you're not getting plastered in wine two cups of coffee a day you're an idiot too see but that's the thing like these are the people that that much that like it's people but you don't need it well no i'll agree with that but here let me let me finish my problem here these people will glorify (laughs) caffeine consumption in coffee when we'll be like oh i'm jittery all day i just gotta have my coffee and they'll drink like six cups of coffee but then you're like, I would like an energy drink. And then suddenly you're the pro. I have a lot of issues with this pent up aggression because this has been a problem for me in the past. Yep. But same, it maybe is due to the same reason that things like racism continue to exist because people like to blame other people for things that can partially be their fault in all situations. And it has nothing to do with the individual product being oh, demonized. Oh, it's 100% projecting. Yeah, absolutely. Mm-hmm. No, it's definitely projecting. And and the problem is they they want to they I say they we are not specifically calling out any person any group any he said mm, he said soccer I'm looking and beer. at you Celine Dion <laughs> he said beer and uh, beer and wine moms, but my dad was sweetheart. the one that usually yelled at me about it so like it it's all it's across the board um, shout out to my mom for really just not getting the caffeine thing until I stopped drinking caffeine and then suddenly she understood where I was coming from when my brother yeah. started talking about it because he put more research into it that she noticed than I did shout out to yeah. you mom. Jeff, I know you listen yeah. to this podcast. You pass this along to her. 
<laughs> um, yeah, like it, it, we're not calling out any specifically, but I am. It definitely is a weird thing where they're like, where they want to feel like they're better than the person around them, and I hate that. I hate it so. Like, dude, who cares? Who cares if I'm drinking energy drink every day? Who cares if I drink two a day? Again, if you're not my doctor and you're not my therapist, I. <laughs> I don't care what you think about how I treat my body. I just don't like I there is an but aspect maybe... of I, I respect that you are trying to be helpful. I respect that you are you mean the best, but don't presume that I'm going to just listen to you because you don't know. You don't fucking have any I idea. Feel like you're just yelling at straw men right now. There are so there are people dead. I have in mind that I am not yelling at. <laughs> like I am this distinctly intentionally not yelling at them because I'm not about to dox people on the podcast. Not again. Not like last time. But there are pe- there are definitely people who have tried to tell me like how I should be doing my life better, and I just did it get to you. It, it, it can you tell a little bit? Can you tell it? It's a real a real pet peeve of mine. What if you just tell them to just... fuck off and then leave them alone? Well, you can't tell your professors to fuck off. Not when you they're can. in charge of your entire senior grade. Oh, oh, just you wait. I'm gonna email your entire college and let them know that you hate them. I mean, they'll get over it, but like the professor specifically, I don't want to have to like deal with that fallout. But anyway, this has been a very negative section of the See, episode. I, Let's I, move I, on I to just, positive things. I just don't want to get to me. <laughs> yeah, just, I, just be like, haters gonna hate. Haters will see you drinking caffeine and be like, don't do that. Don't and do sometimes that. haters won't see you, but they'll detect your heat signature. <laughs> those haters I, you have to there. look out yeah. for. The, those, those are the, the scariest haters of all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. The ones that just like, you hear them from down the hallway, like just yeah, Run and they've already, they've already detected your heat signature. Yeah, and you know they're coming and you can't you can't escape. Mm-hmm. Yeah, very scary haters. <laughs> the worst kind of haters. What were you saying about positive things, Noah? I was, money. I was just thinking that we should move to, to happy thoughts. Like, um, anything. Caffeine is my happy thought, Noah. Do you guys Noah? know anything about poppy? <laughs> I'm sorry. Like the like plant? The, the like plant? milk of the poppy being no, like, like the, ancient heroin? Like the YouTube person. The, she's a musician now, I think. P-A-P-I? P O P P Y. I've never could not heard know of less person. about Poppy if you had not like um, no, I I know nothing about. She's Poppy. the one that talks. Why does like she look this? familiar? Because oh, you yeah, now I know who she her. is. She, I yep, think she was in I YouTube applied. Rewind one year. Speaking of YouTube Rewind from a few episodes back, she's yeah, I remember this. I have yeah, very little weird. interaction with her, and she makes me incredibly uncomfortable every single time I see her. I feel like it's like the ASMR thing, right? No, see, ASMR doesn't weird me out in the same way. Poppy weirds me out because I'm worried that she's, like, going to kill me. Sounds like you're a hater. No, she just... <laughs> you hear no one come running from the other side of the room? No, gotta be a hater. I nah, mean, Noah, you can hate all you want. No, I, I'm... You can, I, but I'll tell you you're hating. See, here's the thing, though. I I want to like her because I, I enjoy this weird, unnerving aspect she has. But you just can't get into it? I just... I just... I just can't, yeah. My advice, if you want to like her, is uh, just like you her. should try and like her. Dang, Next dude. Next question. Next question? Well. Next question. I'll just keep scrolling down my Twitter feed and see if something else pops up that makes me think. Okay. Yeah, next question. <laughs> oh, actually, that reminds me, seeing who retweeted mm-hmm. this was Anthony Fantano. Do you guys listen to Death Grips? Uh, I love Death Grips, who actually. Is, why does that name sound familiar? Um, Death Grips? I don't know why it would be familiar is that the full to you. Ba- is that a band? Oh. Yeah. Well, Death Grips is online. Is that the full name, Death Grips? Yeah, Death Grips. Yes. I'm going to see if I can find the video that you would probably be familiar with. Um, I'll just link it in the Discord real quick. Uh, for I, 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 know, I know why it is. It's already, I'm already, I already figured it out. It's, um, because I was thinking Death Cab. Um, oh, Death for Cab for Cutie. <laughs> also yeah, a great that band. One. <laughs> but nothing, Both bands I like. I actually like do Death like Grips Death Cab. All. I'm trying. No, uh, that's why I was like, that's weird. It sounds like. But you said you don't like Death Grips at all, Noah? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's like not Death- what I was saying. I'm trying oh, to nothing find, like is what he said. I'm trying to find the video I'm thinking of. There is because they did a video. A lot of their videos are notoriously low budget. It's what they do. Mm-hmm. It's kind of like they're just they're low budget, honestly. They're oh, there's it's what they, they're it's what they do. The gods of low budget, like lo fi music. It's so amazing but the it's more noise than lo fi, but whatever. Okay, yeah, no, I'll, I'll, Actually, I'll give you that as well. I'm trying to remember what the name of the video is but the opening of it they go in they were it's a it's a music video yeah it's a music video and they were entering an office building they were like in the basement initially uh illegally and he's walking around i've seen footage 
Yeah, and they're like the main singer. The singer he's wearing like a mask. MC Ride, he has a name. Yeah, MC Ride. He's wearing a mask and he's like all suited up and he looks like a scary dude. And he's walking around with like a bag and just just going around trying doors and they find one that opens. <laughs> nice. And the door opens and you just hear a hello, and then they. They go in and there's just this, like the camera isn't quite following close enough. So he goes in there and this person just minding their own business, doing their job. And all of a sudden, death gripped. yeah, and they, they almost got in an awful lot of legal trouble for that one because they were trespassing and then they really scared somebody. They had it coming. I mean, yeah, no, that's fair. No, it's not fair. But, you know, I'm glad you've taken my side, but I am wrong. No, no. I mean, they did. If if they're sneaking around illegally, they definitely had it coming. It was just like a matter uh, of like, when would it happen? Oh, no. I was talking about the person who got scared. Oh, having it coming. oh I, no, I disagree. I don't think they had it. coming. OK, yeah, that's what that's what I was saying. I've taken a wrong opinion here. I was. I was kidding. Mm-hmm. Cat. Shut the fuck up. Thank you. And here we, we have uh, Jackson's hour. special guest yet again, uh, Jackson's cat, who does not, not know Jackson's how to shut the fuck can, up. Which I said, it's Jackson's cat. <laughs> it's Jackson's can cat. It's a can can, but you know, with a cat. Shut the fuck up, you cat. Whoa, you can't talk to your cat like that. Cats are people too. Mine's not. Mine's not. Mine wasn't either. Mine's not either, because it's dead. <laughs> What was I going to say? I, I had a thing I was going to bring in today, and I completely have now forgotten what it was. Was it about my car? Was it about my cat? It was neither about your car nor your cat. Unlucky. Uh, really unlucky. Honestly, honestly the worst. I'm Yo, not, can I'm I, can I, uh, can I weird fucks at you guys for a second? Yes. Uh, yes. So, I don't know if you guys are aware of this, but generally speaking, school stresses me the fuck out, right? I'm, in, I'm here, Weird. I'm in my final semester. Who would have thought me, of all people, stressed out about things? But... This semester, I'm like, yo, I am done. I have I am literally only finishing out some like spare credits that I need to finish up before I ship out to L.A. in May. Hopefully you guys, I have so little to get done like on the day to day and I just keep wasting so much time. because I'm like, oh, yeah, I have nothing to do today. And like, I don't. It's correct. I don't have anything I have to do that day because I've already finished the work that I need to do. But it feels wrong. Like it feels like I'm wasting so, so, so much time. Which is why I've been, mm-hmm. if you've been, uh, if you've been following me or Noah, you'll see that I've been streaming a shit ton lately because I just have nothing else I need to do to spend my time on. Congratulations, by the way, on getting caught up and comfortable to the point that you feel like you can do that. Oh man, it feels good, but it, it's a good thing, right? It's a really good thing, and it's like a very, I'm very happy. That this is like it's a problem a good I have. Dang, but she's gone too far. Continue. <laughs> but it, I feel weirdly guilty about it at the same time. Which I feel like is like an indicator of some like kind of deeper like need to be busy all the time forever. No, I feel that. I used to be like that. That's actually fun fact why I started this podcast. I remember that. I remember. Because <laughs> I'm just like, oh, I can't be not busy. I can't. I can't. So if I am not stressed out, I'm doing something <laughs> wrong. It's a weird. It's a weird scenario I find myself in. And I know it's going to change, right? Like as the semester goes on, obviously I'll have more and more work to do. But for these first like two weeks, we're, we're we just we're, I'm about to go into my third week. And I'm like, you guys, I. I have all my homework done for the next, like, up through Sunday. The only reason I don't have past that is because they haven't uploaded it yet. Like, mm-hmm. I just, I have nothing I need to do, and it's great. It's also hell, because I have so much free time. Sounds terrible. It, again, I told you it was a weird flex, and, like, such a first world <laughs> problem. Man, I have, I have so much free time. time. I just have too much free time. I'm going to go back to working in the coal mines again. God, I wish that, like, I had trench foot. <laughs> <laughs> God, I wish I just, you know, hadn't eaten in like a week and just had to like curl up in the back room of a CD bar to survive. That'd be great. I wish my family had a yearly income of six dollars. <laughs> God, exactly. You see my problem. Yeah, mm-hmm. I think it might be me. I don't think you're the problem. All right, sure. Yeah, no, Jackson. In this my- instance, Jackson's I my problem. I, I, I instigated any sort of a. Uh, backlash <laughs> that was created there about an innocent situation. No, it's again. It's such a... It's whack. It's Strange whack. flex, however, I permit. <laughs> it is an odd flex, but the council permits it. Well, that's, uh, that's one way to put it. The council will permit this flex. 
<laughs> brother. I like I was gonna say, I like the idea of like this this guy standing in like the center of this like poorly lit room, this like giant council, like sir, like essentially the room from um the Senate chamber from Star Wars, and like just be like mm, yes. mm, the Senate permits this flex and just like suddenly Ooh! And Hulk Hogan comes out and he says <laughs> Typo Mania, brother. <laughs> Typo Mania. <laughs> Oh, that's a, that, if you've not seen that tweet, it's it's kind of old now. But it keeps every once in a while it'll just show up on my like Twitter feed and it just makes me smile. Because uh, Hulkamania, my man Hulkster, he he tweets something and it's the wrong thing, mm-hmm. and then he goes, "Didn't mean to say that." LOL, typo mania, brother. <laughs> I was so actually good. about to ask if you guys follow him on Twitter at all because he's the he's one of the purest Twitter presences I've ever yeah, come across. Yeah, very good Twitter presence. He's like he doesn't mean anyone harm. Yeah, he's just he's just Hulkamania running wild, you know. And who among us doesn't want a little bit of that in our lives? I love like firstly, I always forget that he's bald until I see pictures of him like actually yeah. wrestling live without head like his oh, he's band. Still doing that. Like no, no, he's not. They're like older okay. pictures. But he's like yeah, he's him. super involved with his fans. He like responds. He retweets. Mm-hmm. He's just a he's a very positive dude. And I he really also has a ten inch penis. He has a tendency to what? He has a ten inch penis. Oh. I was gonna say, are we gonna are you gonna bring up his sex tape? And there it was. He uh, did. Not his sex tape, but I'm gonna bring up the court trial, which is the greatest thing because we got a couple I things need out of it. Way more information about this court trial. Um, okay, not so, his ten inch penis, just the court trial. Okay. Well, I yeah, mean, the yeah. two go hand so in hand. Hulk Hogan or hand in penis, tape, as it were. There's a sex tape leaked by Gawker of Hulk Hogan, and um, I remember hearing about that. Yeah, during the trial, he first of all got to show up in at court with a do rag on. It was a formal do rag, and it was because it was part of his character appearance. Mm-hmm. So he actually like had the ability to wear it in court because it counted as like an actual part of his as, his character. Okay, because it was his costume. Like, and because he argued that Hulk Hogan was the one being filmed and advertised in the sex tape in court, he would appear as Hulk Hogan, not as his, like actual person. I really love that because I don't know if that was his idea to come up with that or if that was his lawyer, but I 100% can hear him making that statement, and it's gorgeous. Hulkamania is running wild in the courtroom, brother. Um, but you know, Hulkamania ran wild in the courtroom, brother. That's all you need to know. That's fantastic. Okay, so what actually happened is he had to attest. The, the funniest part, I haven't actually seen the sex tape, nor do I know much about it, but I do know um, Hulk Hogan had to, under oath, swear that he had a 10-inch penis, and that, to me, is the funniest like video clip that could possibly exist. However, I don't believe there is a video clip since the court was not publicly filmed. Um, the transcripts are available, though. Yeah, Hulk Hogan. What a what a man. Honestly, a real American, you could argue. It really bums me out that um, there was like a movement to get him stricken from the records of WWE after some controversial stuff came out. He's racist, I think, is what it was. Yeah. Or he said, or he said something racist. I, be- I believe he, he said the hard R. Oh, no, Hulk. Uh, here's, here's the thing, Wait, though. Wait, I thought he... Wait, was there context? Um, that's what I don't know. Cause if it's like if there was context, then mm-hmm. Vince McMahon said it for a sketch. Like, yikes! Yeah. Oh, it's it's really funny. I think I well, retweeted it the, the other uh, day. The Sh- the Chappelle Show bit. Um, I, I missed that. Okay. Um, it's the N I G G A R family, and they basically just keep saying the N word, and it's like five white people. I think that's their last name, and like it's 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 a it's a really funny sketch. Um, yeah. It sounds really funny, but also one of the, like one of those things where you can't really show it to people, no matter how funny yeah, it is. Yeah, because at least not in public. You gotta be like, maybe if we're like at my house and the door is locked. <laughs> and the door is locked Cause, and cause, no one can get like, in. Because it's like, it's not at all like a, like a, a racist bit. I mean, it's just, a, it's just comedy. Because like, it's Dave Chappelle and you know, he's culturally aware, but it's, it's, it's still. Dave Chappelle's great. And I greatly yeah, appreciate really everything he does. Good. Agreed. Good guy. He's back to comedy again, isn't he? I believe so. Now that he finally got out of the stigma of having to do the one bit every single time. Hey, say you're Rick James. Mm-hmm. That would suck. I mean, that's kind of what Twitch streaming is <laughs> after a point, but that would suck. <laughs> that's a big oof arena right there, bud. Exactly my point. Oof arena. Yeah, man. I, I said that before Twitch something... came into my life, so like, I won't, oh. I won't defend this. I don't think you said oof arena before Twitch came into your life. I 110% did, bud. <laughs> He no, did Dan say oof Reno when you guys were younger? No, it doesn't sound no, like something I definitely would have said. He 100% says really dumb stuff like that all the time. Yes, but that exactly. particular string of words that is heavily affiliated with Twitch culture. How is that? That's a Twitch thing? Everything something Reno, something Aroni. Really? Oh, oh really? Usually, yeah. Really? I, I See, I didn't know that, Don't. and I would say well, that I might have picked that up from like just the internet in general. Yeah, that, mm. I would. Def- I could see that, but like definitely not oof. because of the Twitch thing. Oof, I don't watch no, Twitch. Oof is um, 
Oof is just a meme at this point by itself. Yes, but it's yeah. a huge thing in Twitch culture. I didn't realize <laughs> that it came from uh, Roblox, which did bum me out a yeah. little bit. Why is that bum me out? Who um, cares? I've never played Roblox. Did your Roblox girlfriend dump you? Yes. <laughs> it's because Noah hates Minecraft, and so he has to hate Roblox by association. I, I we know you hate Minecraft. I do hate Minecraft, and why? It's it's a hundred percent just because I played with some people who took it way too seriously, Dan and some of his friends. Um, a lot of my friends. And they really How are you about to take it. Minecraft serious? They, they get into modded Minecraft, and I'm not really about that. And it's not a problem. It's fine if that's what they want to do. It's totally it, fine. You know, you I, can just play vanilla, right? Like you don't have to play. I, but I know I don't want to play Minecraft. And if I was gonna play it, I was gonna play with you guys. But I couldn't play vanilla Minecraft with you guys because everything always went off the deep end. I mean, that sounds like us. You know, the last time I played, actually, was I played with uh, you and your girlfriend and some of the other people, and mm -hmm. I made a giant chessboard and a house, but the house was trash, and the chessboard was great, and that's the last thing I remember. I don't remember this at all, so it, I mean, it, it definitely a, happened. It was a long time ago. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I want to say I'm sorry. Because like I mean, don't I, be sorry I because am. it's a it's something that you enjoy. Well, and you're but like to I want to say I'm sorry it. because like I I apparently was, I know I was part of the reason that like you don't enjoy it, and like <laughs> I enjoy it. I still, yo, I don't give a fuck. I am 22 years of age. It is the year of our Lord 2019. I still love the shit out of Minecraft. I will never. That's I I won't apologize. Completely fine. That's not. No one's gonna be on you for that. Uh, no, people are on. But not all the time but i have definitely had people be like you still play minecraft and i'm like yeah dude because it's fun and it's relaxing and i can just like log on for an you hour to hang out with better people is what i'm getting from today's Yo, you're telling episode. me but like i haven't had someone in my life like be diminutive towards something i enjoy in years and then i showed up well not even that you know maybe, maybe i have i just don't notice it because like it's just bad people man you just get yeah, away from them if people have problems with the way you live your life, don't try and appease them. Just leave them alone. I mean, why do you think I moved out of Erie? Well, yeah, but the problem is apparently cyclical. I mean, it definitely is, but it's a step in the right direction. That's true. Um, but yeah, so I, I really enjoy it. And like at the time, no, when was the first time? Because back when we, I've been playing since like, wow, there's apparently weird, my Mi weird Minecraft tangent now. Uh, I've been playing for since before launch, like just since just before launch. So what is that? 10 years now? How old sure. is this game? Really? Whatever. H however old Minecraft, I don't Minecraft is. anymore. Um, it's 2019. <laughs> <laughs> no, it actually is the 10th anniversary of Minecraft though. So it's 2019. Uh, yeah, that's why 2019. God, I love and hate that so much. I hate that so much. No, I take it back. I don't love and hate that. I just hate that. That's the worst. Um, it's 2019. But yeah, at the time, Noah and then a friend of ours both got into it. I, like, I, me and a friend of ours got into it, and then we pulled Noah in. And I know for a fact, at least part of it was he got real butthurt about things. Because at the time, I didn't care as much. I know for a fact right. that... No, I got friend got the friend got no, the other guy. I was gonna say I uh, he was didn't. Butter. You didn't. No, but the the other guy did. Yeah, um, no, hundred percent. Very like extremely to the point where I don't think we ever played it again. And like then I'm butthurt about my cat not shutting up right now. All the other experiences that Noah's had with it have been with a bunch of people who've been playing it for like six years. And like Minecraft is one of those games that like I feel like even though you can start and start it like a dozen times, which I have now started the game like literally dozens of times. Um. I probably dumped more hours into that than anything else in my life, actually, now that I think about it. The thing uh, I like about Minecraft is the hardcore mode. I, I like, like that you mine and craft. I like I like the building and exploration. I've always been a big I've always been a fan of games that have really good exploration uh, mechanics. I'm a miner through and through, boys. Sixteen years old. No, I was I'm gonna a, say. Like I, uh, I just I like to just I just like to mine. My girlfriend's the same way. She, it's very funny. Put me in a cave and let me go, boys. <laughs> just why you up and just, just like thing? set you off in a direction? Yeah, absolutely. Can we do a Minecraft stream? Can we please do a Minecraft stream? Can we do a Minecraft, Minecraft, stream? I mean, can we we do a Minecraft server? A Minecraft Let's Play series? Can, yes. Uh, can we do a Minecraft Let's Play series in this the year of our Lord 2019? I mean, you joke, but they're still making Minecraft stuff. Oh, I know. And Minecraft is still like the 10th most viewed, uh, most viewed Which I'm, category I'm, on Steam. Or on I'm Twitch, unreasonably Steam. salty about that. And I know you it's are. unreasonable. This, that's where this conversation started originally when Noah and I were talking about this a, a couple days ago. Yeah, the fact that I am incredibly unreasonably salty about the fact that Minecraft is still consistently in the top 50 streamed games. I, I mean, Minecraft I don't... Steve beat up my dad behind a Kroger <laughs> one time. You know what? That makes I believe sense. you. I mean, I buy that. No, my dad could beat up anyone in the universe, so. 
my thing though is like i feel like it's one of those things that like there are so many i don't know man i think i think that if you went back to it now on like a, a f- with like a fresh perspective on it you'd actually enjoy it a lot more i think hot take I, if i went back to it now and played hardcore mode with someone i would get the bug out of my system of ever wanting to play it for the next maybe three years again or no, i think we would have fun playing minecraft i'm sure we would have some fun and i'm some willing to do like, imagine imagine me getting mad at you over a video game on minecraft instead of league I can't imagine well, why I, you, get mad. I can't imagine why you'd get mad at me on Minecraft because like on League, at least I'm legitimately not like I'm legitimately hurting the team. But <laughs> plus, like I don't actually. I mean, get I don't know. In, in uh, Minecraft, you, you, you hardcore, you just die. So like, well, you just make a new character. That's not how. Not not hardcore mode. That's why I like hardcore mode. It's so definitive. Well, yeah, but then if one of you dies and you have multiple people, then no. you just restart or you just make another character. I suppose. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Of, this is us announcing the official uh, off the air Minecraft server. Uh, coming soon. TM. TM. Yeah. That's right. And on that, that's uh, where we're ending the episode, unfortunately. I was, say, that, that, I was hoping that was going to be the end. That's why I did that. <sighs> wow. That's... I don't have Minecraft. I actually don't own it. Really? Yeah. I'm surprised. I did at one point. Lost your account? Or something like that. I don't know. I Fair just enough. don't know what it was. So I can't get into it. I know the account exists, but I just can't get to it. So I You know what account you can Minecraft. get into? What? Can you get into your uh, your Twitter and Audible Instagram? account? Yeah, you could yes. get into your Audible account at audibletrial.com slash off the air. off the air. Jackson, I was trying to go a very different what direction book, with that, but that's fine. What book would you recommend people get with their first Audible token? Uh, Twilight series Breaking Dawn. Very good option. Dan, that is a what great book option. would you recommend people get as their very first book with their Audible trial? Uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, the first one. Am I the only one going to give a serious answer? Yep. I mean, I can give a serious answer. I just didn't have one at the time. And I looked at my kombucha and I was like, Hood River, Oregon, Pacific Northwest, Forks, Washington is the setting for Twilight, Twilight. But then I couldn't say the first one, so I went for the second in the series, which would make it a little bit more comical, uh, Breaking Dawn. In case you guys ever want a glimpse inside of how my brain works. I like that. It's gross. It's Um, filthy in there. I don't like it. I want to get out. You can. I would recommend... Just go to audibletrial.com slash off. That's the secret nobody tells you. The l- luck is basically just waiting for other people to make mistakes that you can capitalize on. Yep. Actually, that's... You're not wrong there. That That's incredibly I mean, true. Well, no, that's not that's not luck, though. That's, I uh, mean, knowledge of what you're doing. It is a lot... For a lot of people, that is what they would consider luck. Like, when you're... When someone goes looking at life and goes, wow, you're like, really lucky. Like, a lot of the times, what they really mean is, wow, you're great at capitalizing on, on the opportunities you've been given. Or that have come across your your life. Yeah, whenever I hear people say that something's lucky or not, they're just like you get like a you win like a lottery scratch off. You're like, wow, that's lucky. Yeah. I also think I hang out with very different people than you guys. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I'm, I I think I'm picking up on that too. That's our big takeaway tonight is uh we hang out with very different crowds and that's okay. I, I feel like all three of us hang out with relatively different crowds. I mean, your crowd, yeah, Noah's crowd is becoming my or my crowd is becoming Noah's crowd. Unfortunately, I just hang out with nice people who do a lot of drugs. I don't. This has been off the air. You can find me at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Twitch at Bubba the Bad, B U B B A D A B A D. Just find me there. I'm I'm there, and I talk and stuff. You're you can occasionally find me air. on your streams too. It's true. He's playing League of Legends. You can find both of these chumps on my stream. It's a good time. Excuse me. So you I can, can find me on my own stream at well, twitchtv slash rule. Also that yes. You don't need to follow Noah's stupid channel. Fuck. I think this video highlights still on my channel, so you can go do that or whatever. <laughs> um, <laughs> just in case you want to watch something that's just Jackson, you can definitely see his video highlights. <laughs> his video from, highlights, from months ago. You can also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash bornrule47. Uh, you can also find the podcast on Patreon if you want to throw some money our way. Patreon, patreon.com slash the off the air. That was me letting, letting Noah keep going, because I iTunes and oh, yeah. YouTube. Oh, yeah. Um, YouTube, you can find the link in the show notes, um, specifically on the website where you can click the button to wish Jackson a happy birthday. You can do that. Um, you can do, you that. do that for us. Yeah, do that. Go to iTunes though. Find off the air. We are the, uh, we're the podcast called off the air that has 26 episodes <laughs> as of now. Uh, and give us a good review. Uh, we, we enjoy seeing reviews. Like if you go right now, you can see the, uh, I think it's my review has a typo in it. So you can find that. Have fun with it. Wait, you you reviewed of us? Of course, I reviewed us. I asked you guys too, too, and you also and you have. Are, are we like? Isn't that like insider trading? I think you're allowed to just say that. Hey, I like this podcast, but I might be biased. I don't think you're allowed to say that. Well, anyway, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, here we are. Review the podcast because it's very helpful, and we'll read out your uh, we'll read out your review if you make one. 
Has anyone reviewed it? Well, yeah, we've read them out before. Yeah. Oh, nice. I could read them out again. No, I mean, we already read, if we already read them out, don't, don't give people too much. They'll come back expecting something. Speaking of giving I mean, people too much, it's a new month, and that oh, means... shit. We have a shout out to do, a Patreon Two, shout out. Technically. Um no, one technically. I'm not saying one? anything unless someone requested me to say something. Um a request has been made uh for you to give this person a shout out after they beat you as piranha plant in Smash. Ooh, I couldn't imagine who what person that is. I know, right? Look, all I'm saying is that they haven't beat me as piranha plant in, Sla in Smash. It's true. Yeah, because piranha plant hasn't come out yet, has it? Problem solved. Not until um later in February. I was gonna, like, enough. ask one of my friends to teach me how to play Smash, <laughs> and then just, like, actually learn how to play the game and win. That's my- that's my strategy. Just become good. That's- that's my strategy, that, too. Yeah, it's not my strategy. My strategy is just be good from the start. Oh my gosh. We do have another review. It was made four days ago. <laughs> Who was it? Who was it? Um, math.random says, needs more meowing cans, 7 out of 10 with rice. That, I wonder, I can think of two people that could be, actually. Yep. I'm not yep. sure who, but it's someone we'll who find we out, know who And we are. appreciate you. <laughs> Whoever you are, we appreciate you. Oh, that's right. Well, I called the podcast a podcast. <laughs> a podcast? Come on, the podcast. I remember that. I remember we made one of you for that. Yep. Come on, the podcast. Come out to the podcast. It's time to watch it. So, yeah. You know, you can uh, totally go review us and get made fun of or something. So yeah, I didn't make fun of him. We appreciate we appreciate you. What was his name? Math. Math random. Math random. We appreciate you. Thank you for the review. And with that, uh, thank you for coming out. <laughs> thank you for sticking <laughs> that, around after last we're week's done episode. Here. Close it up. Shut it down. Shut the whole thing down. We're done. We're canceling it. Show's canceled. Let's go home. You're canceled. <laughs>